Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to be trying out this solar lighter. Um, then we're going, we're going to try to, it's for a cigarette, but we're going to try to start a fire with it. I've seen other guys on YouTube um, start fires with it. Let's give it a try. And uh, yeah, I got two of these. So let's see, uh, let's see how well it works. And if we can start a fire with it. Stick around, guys. Okay, so let's open this up. Gives you little instructions on the back here. Just a couple pictures. There's four pictures. As you can see, the sun is bright today. Woohoo, that thing's bright. Now, what I wanted to talk to you about was, would I keep this in my pack as my only fire starter? Of course not, because, uh, well, you can't use this in the rain, and you can't use it at night. But it's fun. And also, I will keep it in my pack because I can use this as a signaling device in an emergency but again you know the sun has to be out but um, let's look at our things here Now this spring will just go inside of let's see, this spring here, like that, and this is going to set down in there like that. Now as soon as the clouds pass, I'm going to put a cigarette in here, and we'll try to light a cigarette first, and then I got some cotton balls, we'll try to light that. Okay, so the sun's getting ready to come back out. So let me see if I can... Look like I just seen some smoke coming off of something there. Okay, so as soon as, it come, the sun, soon as the sun comes back out, I'm going to put the cigarette in here. And we're going to try to light it. See what happens. Okay, so we're going to put this in here. And I don't know if you can see that bright spot on there, but we want to get that bright spot right to the bottom, right in there, to the bottom of that cigarette. I've never used one of these before. Oh, and there's the smoke. See the smoke? It's starting. And I can feel the heat from that thing. Look at that almost instantly. As you can see, it is, well, and it lit my cigarette. Okay, so I got a couple, I got a couple, um, cotton balls down here and then 
We're just going to kind of roll it up. I want to stick this down in where you would put your cigarette. Let's see if we can get get this to light off. Which I figure if it'll light a cigarette, it should light this thing all right. Pretty easy. I don't know what you guys are seeing here. I may have to speed you up. Ooh, that's hot. Try to get it the brightest focal point right on the edge. Or, you know, down on the end of it. Okay, I'm seeing a little bit of smoke. There it goes. Starting to go. I'm doing this in real time, so... It's hard to see because the sun is so bright. Try this again. Well, that is hot. Oops. Guess I didn't have it in there far enough. I got it. I got it fluffed out a little bit more. Man, that wire is hot. But if you can light a cigarette, <laughs> you can definitely light a fire with a cigarette. I've done that before. You know, it's coals. Clouds keep going by. I've seen a guy on YouTube do one of these and it wasn't I mean, it was a cloudy day. It wasn't real bright and sunny, and he started a fire with one of these. Get up patience when you're doing it this way. I don't know. All right, the clouds are going over again. Hang on a second, guys. Okay guys, so I brought you over here, I'm sitting down here on this chair, and I got our cotton ball in there. That's almost immediate, if you can get that focal point right, and the, the clouds doesn't cover up your sun. Because I know that wire, that spring is super hot right now. I mean really, really hot. And sometimes you can see it glowing red. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but. Ooh, that was hot on my finger just now. There you go. If you can get that focal point right. We just want to get it smoldering. I should probably try some paper. If this don't work, we'll try a piece of paper. But... It's definitely, definitely getting hot. Cause I can, right down there, you can see that spring. 
I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but that spring is red hot. Okay, we've got a number. If I don't waste it, I don't know if you can see that. Oh man, almost, almost. Let's try it again. Get that down in there into that metal where it's really, where the metal was getting, was getting red hot. And the clouds are coming back across the uh, sun again. But look at that. It's almost immediately. Once you get that fo focal point right. I don't know if maybe... Let's try... Oh, that spring's hot. Let's try to let it long ways. On the on the spring because getting that spring red hot with no problem all right guys sorry about that I don't know what you seen or didn't see battery went dead this heat really kills batteries so let's try this again I got kind of my little birds and that stuff down here and we got some clouds but we also have some smoke here, so. I see some coals up in there now. You guys see that? It's a lot of fun, but you have to have patience. Not quite yet. Metal's hot, though. Got some ashes in there. Let the smolder for a minute. Like I said, not the best stuff. Oh no, I just sweated in it. Oh no. Alright, hang on. 
All right, I'm not one to give up. Still with the cotton balls. And that's hot, you get your fingers up around there. I'm just about ready to lose sun. Not really the sun, but there's a tree. It's getting ready to go behind the tree. There we go, now we're getting somewhere. Trying to open that up a little bit. There we go. Oh man. Gonna do it again. I gotta go cool down for a minute. Okay guys, so I had to follow the sun because of that tree over there. There we go. There we go, we got some smoke going on now. Woo, it's hot. Had an ember on there. Didn't look like it, but it did. The spring's getting super hot. Oh crap, hang on. Okay, I'm back. Still chasing the sun. Once you get it in that one right spot, you start smoking real good. There we go. We get something better. All right, let's let this motor a minute. I'm 
gonna stay up here. we go yes <laughs> right on we got it guys Whew. wow that took a while holy crap but we did it I think but I think the better thing to use would probably be like folded up notebook paper or something real tight. Char cloth, I think that would be the ticket. I don't have any. Um, I think the next outdoor video, whew, that's hot, that I do will be making some char cloth. And then we'll try this again with the char cloth. And I seen that one little ember start smoking. I put it down on there and it took off pretty quick. But yeah, I think that's the ticket. Put another cigarette in here. Because a cigarette light's real easy. So it's kind of hard. Cigarettes kind of crunched up. See, look how quick that takes off. A lot faster than, uh, look at that. I mean, that cigarette's pretty much lit. Yeah. Could you guys see that up there where it was? It's lit. But it lights a lot easier than cotton balls for some reason. So, all right, guys, we did it. Like I said, I don't think it's supposed to be four. It's still lit. Oh, I got a hole in it right there. That's why when I was putting it in, I stabbed it. But. Yeah, I don't I think it's just supposed to be a novelty cigarette lighter, but if you can light a cigarette, you can light a fire, right? It just takes a lot longer as you saw. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Wanted to share it with you. I appreciate it. Shea Bear the Myth the Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Man, that thing will you could really get somebody's attention with that. I don't want to blind you guys, but you can see it on me, I think. Yeah, that's pretty bright. I see it over there on the vet now but yeah so we'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching again appreciate it and uh we'll see you guys in the next video i got some stuff for the uh manco thunderbird so it's ready i got everything i need we'll get it put together and get it ready to get sold um while well, we're gonna take it apart clean it throw the engine back on I got a new chain, sprocket, and clutch for it, and we already put the stage one kit on the motor. So, like I said, it'll be for youth. So, um, I mean, it'll pull me. It's just not going to like do wheelies and stuff, but you know, uh, it's just a three horsepower. So, <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Take care. It's hot out here. <laughs>